Hi guys, I'm Charles Bernstein from Northern Transmissions. Thanks as always for checking out an episode of Records of My Life. This time we have on Travis Agadee, aka Picture Plane. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my name's Picture Plane. I'm in Vancouver, Canada for my first time. Uh, we're going to go through some records that are in my life for northerntransmissions.com. Album number one. My, uh, we have the famous Nevermind by Nirvana. They were a new band for me at the time. I was a little kid. I distinctly remember even like the first time I ever heard In Bloom by Nirvana. It made me like stop in my tracks. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is the sound that I want. So, I don't know. This was always like a hugely influential record to me as a kid. And it's an incredible masterpiece, you know, that it's just changed the game for everything. I don't know. I've, always, I've been saying we, recently that we, the world needs a new Nirvana kind of to come and, and shake some things up, really, and uh, kind of push things forward a little bit. Next record I have is Wolf Eyes, I Am A Problem, Mind In Pieces. This is their brand new album. They're basically my favorite band, I think, so I try and see them whenever I can. And they're still, they're amazing live. I recommend going to see Wolf Eyes live. Probably the best they've ever been, really. And they've invented a whole new genre of music called trip metal that they're all about right now. And it truly is a messed up, psychedelic, tripped out metal. And so these guys are just hilarious. They keep it really real. And uh, they're true, true punk heroes of the fights. Next record, we have Madonna's first album, just Madonna. And uh, I had a special relationship with this record around 2008, New Year's Eve 2008. Uh, it was on a bunch of mushrooms, and <laughs> we were just listening to this on vinyl, and it was just like, I was like, this is the most perfect music <laughs> I've ever heard. And I was like really obsessed with the em subtle emotion in Madonna's voice. And uh, yeah, I had my own sort of like trippy, like profound revelation about pop music and stuff because of this album. Uh, the whole year after that, I started making a bunch of artwork when I was an art student, specifically surrounding the song Holiday that is on this album. I wrote a bunch of essays about this song, of it being like a, a metaphor for like a, a possible golden age of humanity to enter into and like this whole new like philosophical idea that we can, you know, change our world and like make it into a beautiful place to be and things like this. Very like idealistic and uh, utopianist ideas that I was having at the time. So also I just have the hugest crush on Madonna at this period. She's unbelievable. Yeah. This is sick. This is uh, one of the newest, I believe the newest full length from Prurient, Frozen Niagara Falls. Never seen this on vinyl before. This is awesome. This beautiful packaging. Yeah. Holy moly. Damn. <laughs> um, I'm a very, very big Prurient fan. I think that uh, he's one of my favorite artists for sure. Really influential on me um, as a performer. And uh, I just like really look up to him as an artist, I think. Um, He's extremely prolific, and he also records as so many other projects, Vatican Shadow and Rainforest Spiritual Enslavement, all kinds of insane, weird side projects, and runs a whole record label, and it's, he's like obsessive about putting out new music, and there's no way you could ever hear it all, basically, so, but his albums are incredible, and I don't know, I just really appreciate his work ethic and his like no holds barred like resistance to everything basically. He does it his way, how he wants to do it, and it's fucking brilliant. Final album we have uh, Trout Mask Replica by Captain Beefheart and his magic band. I don't know, I don't know what kind of drugs they are doing on this album, but probably a lot of LSD or something. But yeah good clean pure drugs from the 60s <laughs> so i don't know i 
I don't even know much about this album other than that I just love it. It's, I can listen to it any time of day, and I've been a fan of it for years now, so it's like, it's great. Right on. Thank you very much. Yeah, really thank you guys. Thank you for having me on the channel. Yeah, hope you come back soon.